Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dom from Pie for Life Games, and I'm here with part two of my dual overload case opening. If you haven't seen part one, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description of the video. And so, yeah, not much else to say, so let's go crack into it. Um, I mentioned in the first video that there are 12 boxes in a case, and so I will be doing this in four parts. This is part two of four. And if there's any card that you saw that I pulled that you would like to purchase, I will be putting cards up on the Pie for Life Games TCG player store front. So if you would like to purchase any, uh, go to the dare. And I'll try to keep the prices reasonable, but it, I don't know, like, I'm probably gonna spend most of my time tomorrow figuring out card prices because I'm recording this pretty late Wednesday night. We got the Cyber Dragon Infinity uh, big card, which I might keep this one. I love the Cyber Dragon Infinity art, which, uh, speaking of which, we have that pack art for this box. I can... Then the Kigari Ultra art too, beautiful. But you see the new Cyber Dragon Infinity art, very gorgeous. But yeah, so like I was saying, um, I'm going to be posting cards to the our TCG player store. So if you'd like to purchase any, just you can pick, up, pick them up there or leave a comment and then or uh, message the Pie for Life Facebook page. So we got Giga Plant, the Flame Swordsman, the Mecha Phantom Beast Link, which we did not pull in the last few boxes, another DDD Link. And vanity tool. Not bad, not bad. And then, like in the last video too, I'll be putting in the very notable cards, or I think are notable, in the middle here. And if you can see on the right, or not the right, the left, I'm sorry. It's been a long day, guys. Um, we did pull pretty good out of our first few boxes, so we're hoping to keep it up with these ones. So we got number 27. It's our first pull here. Dark Anthem one, extra hero, Infernal Divisor. Its OCG name was Hell Divisor, so don't blame him for changing that name. Uh, Digest Emerald and Synchro Transcend. Next pack, a deck lockdown, which looks really cool as an Ultra, not gonna lie. Malefic Selector, Ancient Gear Ballista, Zombie World, and another Emerald. I have noticed that, I mean, there's obviously cards that are not going to be as printed as others, but there are some cards that I've noticed that you get multiples in a singular box, and I'm personally not a fan of that. Like, getting three of a copy of a card in a box seems kind of eh, unless it's like three impermanents or three phantasm or something. Another wise tricks, very nice. Got the marble machine, crossroads dragon, first one of that. Another DDD and Card of Fate. I know Wise Tricks is one of the cards that's more. Well, didn't even get all the cards out of that pack. Um, Wise Tricks is sort of printed decently, but I think it's a very good card and very under what its price point should be. A Ferocious Flame Swordsman, another Tour Guide, Scrap Orthos, and Malefic Divide. Last pack from box number four, it will be. Deck Lockdown, Malefic Territory, Mayakashi, Ojama Emperor, and an All Mirage. That's our first All Mirage. So I'll put that there. It's not really going for much at the moment, but still a very good card. Uh, I did not expect them to reprint All Mirage as early as they did. So I know I'm personally one of the ones that did buy into it when it started. To increase in oh excuse me, it started to increase in price because of the Shadal Invoke deck. So I did neg in that sense, but oh sorry about that. But you know that's the beauty of Yu-Gi-Oh. So next we got a tour guide big card. Nice. At least we're getting some different ones now. We got two of the Dark Magicians from our first video. Alright. 
Okay. There we go. This is the guy we want to pull. Let's try to see at least two needle fibers. Or halofibrax. However you pronounce his English name. All right. So we got Hollow Giants, one of the new TCG exclusive cards. Dark Anthelon. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Very nice. The Buster Dragon Link and another Almond Rush. Nice. So I'm putting the Infinity down here. Because I know... I think I actually need a new Infinity because I sold all mine. Not that I'll be playing Cyber Dragons anytime soon, but still a nice card to have. Got the Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Celestial. Armatile. Oh, Armatile? I still don't know how to pronounce that game. Uh, King Yosukui and Magic Formula. Next pack with the Relinquished Anima art on it. Another Wise Tricks. So, like I was saying, Wise Tricks is ready. For hey, there we go. First, how how Fibrax. How Fibrax. That's how you pronounce it. Okay, so this is the main guy we want to pull. So we got one, but so far, no anacondas. I want to see some anaconda action now. Let's see, Marble Machine, Zephyros, our third Union Carrier, very nice. Dharma, and a Starfire. So, starting to pick up on the pulls now, which is what I like to see. Uh, let's see, this is the Abyss Actor, Herald of Mirage Lights. Ooh, our first Levy in here. Very nice. Emerald and Synchro Transmit. I really love the Levy in here, R2. Probably going to keep one of those for myself as well. All right. Let's pack from this box. The deck Lockdown. Uh, our first Selene. Very nice. Another Sarveus and a Speedroid. So put the Sarveus down here. So Celine, a very, very good card for the Pendulum deck. Uh, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't really paid attention to Pendulums too much, but I know uh, my buddy Alex, who's also on the team, he's really looking forward to getting Celines for his Pendulum deck, so... I know he'll be picking up Celine's off of me and whoever else he can get Celine's off of. Oh, whoop. And we got a Stardust Dragon for our next card. So we are getting a variety now, which is what I like to see. Never want to pull the same thing over and over again because you'll get bored. All right. Kind of weird how they pack. I mean, I did say in the last video I'm a fan of how they package this because um, they kind of did away with the legendary collection esque style of packaging. Our first Altar Kagari, a double evolution barrel, and a white mare. These are all pretty nice reprints there, so I'll set those down there. But um, it kind of reminds me of Dual Saga, how they package those, and I don't think about it. And it's actually kind of weird to grip them from the box because they're so tightly, like, a fourth Union Carrier. That's pretty funny. Another umbrella that I cannot pronounce the name of. Well, if you need Union Carriers, I'm your man. I know I will be keeping one for myself, but now we have three extra. So, definitely not a shortage of those. Three packs left for this box. Got the Phantasm Dude, Herald of Mirage Lights. Our first Zeke, very nice. Smorg and the Melodious Link. So the Smorg Link's good. And just to make my buddy Matt happy, I'll put the Zeke right there. I'm actually surprised they didn't keep it as Z, like S-I-E-G. Because that was its OCG name, but they changed it to Zeke. Like, feed Zeke. Go Cowboys. Reptilian. Another Infinity. Very nice. Magic Formula. And I've been pulling so many of this guy. 
If you're planning on playing DDDs and if they play that card, please come check out our TCG player store because I'm pretty sure I will have every single one listed on there because I have no desire to play that deck. Celestial, Tour Guide, that, and Scrap Orthos. So, very nice second set of boxes. We pulled a Hal Fibrax. We pulled two more Union Carriers. So, very nice. We've got two Almirage, another Smorg, and a First Lean. So that will be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like and stay tuned for part three and I will see you guys there.